peace with yourself. And what's happened? I had nothing for you to worry about, Mary. Look, maybe we should all go inside. No, I'm going to go to the police station. Police station? Go get Kev, will you? Yeah, no worries. Well, what's happened? Nothing serious, I hope. Let's wait till Kev gets here. I'll stick the kettle on, settle your nerves. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. Have a heart, Sherry. Yeah, she's right, it's fine. No, it's not fine. We just had a drug dealer arrested on the premises. Drug dealer? All right, Mary, just keep out of it, will you? OK, everyone inside. Come on. Hey, Mary, isn't there something else she should be doing? Come on, you and all. Come on, Jake. Izzy! Would you like me to walk with you, Izzy? I'll be fine, thank you. Oh, right, that's right. Let the rest of us deal with your mess. Maybe best leave her for now. Leave her? I know what I'd like to do with her. Come on. Oh, can't wait to get this thing off. <laughs> can't believe you went through with it. Well, it's called making a point. Well, your point was made, loud and clear. So, am I forgiven then, or what? What do you think? Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought you were going to milk it forever. <laughs> well, it is quite a big deal. Yeah, I know. I know it is, which is why I've said sorry. And I reckon I've proved it and all, don't you? Yeah, true. Doesn't mean you need to stop making up to me, though. Mm, yeah. What have you got in mind? Mm. <laughs> Can't believe he just marched right over and accused me of stealing them signs. You should have told him where to stick his accusations. I can't. He's an old man. True, but I've still got a good mind to go around there and put him straight. Just leave it. Sometimes, Ty, you've got to make a stand. Yeah, well, I've been standing all day. Now I just want to sit down and have a brew. Unless you have got something to hide, of course. What? Well, you have been very enthusiastic about this scrap metal business. Well, not you and all. I was only asking. I have not touched them signs. I can't even believe that you think I would. I'm pulling your leg. <laughs> Forget about Norris. Come here, you. Hmm. So, I wonder how much them signs hey. are actually worth. I'm just... <sighs> what do you reckon? Oh, God, you still look like a little angel in that. This christening's going to be perfect. A perfect christening. Sounds a bit boring to me. I'll settle for boring every day of the week. Lily's christening definitely wasn't done. Oh, yes, yeah, so I heard. Well, we've come a long way since then. I was thinking, would you like to invite um, that Freddy? Sounds like a nice guy. Well, yeah. Well, I was just thinking the more nice people at the christening, the better. Just positive energy in that. But you don't even know him. And he's never even met Harry. What difference does that make? Well, none, I suppose, if it's what you want. Well, I wouldn't have mentioned it otherwise. Oh, fair enough, I'll ask him. <sighs> Talking of christenings. I, um, I need a quick word. Nothing wrong, is there? Possibly. I tell you what, I'll leave you to it. I'll pop down fresh goes and get us something nice for tea, yeah? See ya. Here you go, love. Oh, I shouldn't be standing here drinking tea. Well, there's not much you can do down the cop shop, is there? Unless you're planning to call the A-team and bust him out. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't joke. No, you shouldn't. At least wait for Kevin. You don't want to be sat down there on your own. Yeah, I suppose you're right. They're not going to let him out in the next five minutes, are they? No. I'm sorry it's come to this, but I didn't feel I had any choice. What's that meant to mean? I'd have preferred not to have been involved at all. Sharif was in a difficult position. I know, we all were. I had my suspicions, so I undertook some covert surveillance. What? He called the police. I had no choice. I'm a responsible citizen. Have you any idea what you've done? Like I said. A little boy could lose his dad over this. And for your information, Gary's no drug dealer. He was getting that stuff for Izzy. So you can keep your tea, Mr. Responsible Citizen. I hope you're pleased with yourself. Where are you going? I'm going to the police station. Where do you think I'm going? You're coming, Kev. Nice one, Grandad. You can't do this. It was an oversight. I can only apologise. But you made a promise. You can't go breaking your promises. Well, I know, but everything's been so rushed. I mean, the, the diocese meeting it just completely slipped my mind. I mean, will, will a week or so really matter that much? It matters to me. Well, it's, it's great that you're so enthusiastic about Harry's christening, but, I mean, a few days, it, it really won't make a difference. You made a promise. And I will keep that promise. It'll just be a little bit later on. No, we agreed on the Monday, right? That is what you said, so please, Billy, don't let me down on this. 
Feed a cold, starve a fever. That's what it says here. Great. So which one is it, a cold or a fever? I don't know, Craig. I just feel like I've died here. So what happens if we get it the wrong way around? A thermometer. That's what we need. <laughs> I feel bad leaving you when you're like this. It'll be fine if you took Florence Sky and Gale with you. No can do, I'm afraid. Well, just think of me when you sat in your fancy hotel at the sword. I've cancelled the hotel. It seemed daft spending all that money for me on my own. I'm just going to crash at Linda's with Katie and Joseph. That's all right with you, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. It's so quite wasted, buddy, is the doc? This is the only one we've got. Isn't that for checking the Sunday roast? It's never been used. My mum went on a raffle. Uh, I'm not a leg lab, Craig. You're not putting that thing anywhere near me. So how will we know if it's a fever? <laughs> she doesn't smoke that stuff to get high, you know. It's for pain relief. I find aspirin works perfectly well. The girl's in chronic pain half the time. Aspirin won't help. Why come you know so much about it? Because I've spoken to her. Well, you knew what she was doing? Oh, yeah. Well, you didn't mention it? She told me in confidence. I couldn't say a word to anyone. Whilst I sympathise with Izzy's situation, it, it sounds like you're condoning her behaviour. I didn't say that. But she knew that Gary was getting this stuff for her. Did you know that he was conducting his business from this gym? Well, of course not. All right, look, it's not Erica's fault. I didn't say it was. But Gary's put this business at risk. He's let us down, both of us. But it's lucky I was alert to the situation. Oh, well, give yourself a pat on the back, why don't you? It's not a laughing matter. Who said it was? Like I said, I sympathise with Izzy, but there's no excuse for what Gary's done. He deserves to face the consequences. Oh, not you, now. I've had enough accusations for one day. Relax, Tyrone. This is a contrition mission. Let's hear him out, Ty. Well, well <clears throat> it, it turns out I, I, I may have been mistaken earlier. Norris. Uh, all right, I was mistaken. I was mistaken. But I, I contacted the council and they've made me aware that the uh, street signs have been taken down for cleaning. And? Right. I apologise. But, I mean, it, it, it was an easy mistake to make. I mean, you can't blame me for jumping to conclusions. Don't spoil it, Norris. A half-baked apology is worse than no apology at all. Oh, right, all right. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh. I'm very sorry. I would have dragged him over here sooner, only I was involved in a drugs bust. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gary Windass, have you heard? Oh, yeah. What's the talk of the street? Oh, I can imagine the headlines now. Weatherfield's Ginger Escobar. The kids will soon be fighting over corners and doing drive throughs <laughs> But we digress. Norris has something else to say to you. Don't you, Norris? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, as you're so fervent in your pursuit of scrap metal, I, I, I have something you might be interested in. Call it a peace offering or restitution, as they say in La Cosa Nostra. <laughs> Are you glad I'm back then? Sure am. Hey, where are you going? I'm not finished with you yet. I need to go to the shops. Well, can't it wait till tomorrow? Oh, it won't be long. Why? What have you got to do that's so urgent? Oh, I'd be telling, wouldn't it? Look, I'll only be a little while, and then you can take me to the Robbers for a drink. Let me take you for a drink. <laughs> You're still making up to me, remember? Yeah, well, I can think of better ways than a drink. So can I. But I'll be back in a bit. Promise. Hmm. So what can I do for you? I've come about Gary Windass. He was arrested earlier. Him and about 20 others. I want to make a statement. You're the victim? No. Witness? Not exactly. Help me out, love. I'm not Darren Brown. They arrested him for drugs, but they weren't his. You need to let him go. Not that simple, I'm afraid. But it's not fair he's getting the blame. The weed was for me. He's done that wrong. See? It's mine. It's me you should be arresting. Smoke that 
stuff to get off my head. It's pain relief. With all due respect, that doesn't change the fact that it's illegal. Well, arrest me then. Yeah, we might well do that. Only let Gary go. He's done no wrong. I don't think that's for you to decide. Or us, for that matter. We're only here to establish facts. Yeah, and the facts are your mate was found in possession of an illegal substance. It's not me, mate. It's the father of my son. Most exes pay maintenance every week. He always keeps you in weed, does he? He got me that weed because he was doing me a favour. He was trying to help. Either way, it's against the law. Well, just let him go, because if you're arresting me, then someone's got to look after our son. Where's he now? He's with a friend. Perhaps you both should have considered your son before you started messing around with drugs. I thought your job was to establish the facts, not to pass judgment. I think we've heard enough here. Interview terminated. Hey, we're here about Gary Windass. He's a popular lad, that Windass fella. I beg your pardon? Oh, never mind. Can we see him? We have to wait until he's released, if he's released. Well, what do you mean? Seems self-explanatory to me. Oh, and he allowed a visit, a phone call. I think you've been watching too much Hill Street Blues, mate. So what do we do now? Well, you can take a seat and wait, or go and have a cuppa. I know what I'd be doing. How long will he be? Your guess is as good as mine. OK, thanks for your help. My pleasure. Here to serve. So what do you want to do? I'm staying here. To me! <laughs> this is hardly appropriate for a woman. Of course you did offer. Yes, and I'm more than capable, thank you very much. Oh, I wasn't questioning your ability. Yeah, this is great. It's got to be worth, what, 40 quid? As much as that? Oh, yeah, I reckon so. Oh, well, <clears throat> perhaps we should split the proceeds, then. You'll do nothing of the sort. A deal's a deal. I thought it could be enough for the licence. Yeah, too, right? Should take me past my target with a little bit extra. Oh, cheers, Nozza. <laughs> uh, Norris will suffice. Mr Cole would have been better. Soon you'll be Weatherfield's newest cavvy. This really is very kind of you, uh, Mr Cole. Oh, you're more than welcome. <laughs> I am so proud of you. <sighs> You've worked so hard. I think this calls for a celebration, eh? And with that extra money, we could go down the Rovers, have a few beers. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I didn't donate that fridge so you could squander the money on booze. It's his money. He can do what he wants yeah, with it. We'll only have a couple. Yeah, but Norris is right, though, love. We shouldn't be wasting money. Oh, come on. We hardly ever go out, me and you. Day and night will do us good. <laughs> All right, love. Off this head. Long story. Oh, still loves at home. Let's get off. No chance. What are you doing? No, I'm waiting for Izzy. Is she here or not? Yeah, she came down to give a statement. Thought she could get me out. Oh, well, at least she's trying to do the right thing. Yeah, the only thing is she's made things worse. She's told him the stuff that I had was for her, which makes me a dealer. What? So, because of what she's told him, they hit me with a supply oh, chart. stupid girl. No, it's not a fault. Right, well, whose fault is oh, it? Oh, she's then, only Gary? trying to help. Just sound very helpful to me. Oh, come on, mate. Let's get off. No, I'm going nowhere without her. <laughs> I'm lucky I caught, yeah. I mean, all sorts going on at ours. Oh, it's a shame you're not going too. You look like you could do with an holiday. Mm, so it'll be about it. Right, well, safe journey. Give Joseph a hug from his auntie face. Don't forget, I'm from Hope and Ruby and all. Of course I will. Yeah. One chicken soup. It's not homemade, but still. Mm. Right, that'll be me, then. Mm, looks like it. Oh, if you better not. I don't want you giving any of my lurky to Joseph and Katie, do I? Right, well, I'll see you later, yeah? See ya. I'd best get going. Hey, come here, you. Mwah. Bon voyage. Yeah. Craig, why don't you help Chesney with his bags? Um, what about Sinead? Oh, I won't drop dead in the next five minutes. Yeah, don't worry, I'll keep an eye on her. Fair enough, but don't let that get cold. You need to keep your strength up. Is everything all right? Mm. Living the dream, can't you tell? I meant between you and Chesney. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm sat here like a one-woman snot factory. Well, he's swatted off for a week in the sun with his ex. It could be better. He's not going there to see Katie. Maybe not, but it seems like he'd rather be with anyone than be at the moment. Oh, Sinead. Even that Gemma from Kebab Shop seems to put a smile on his face. Oh. And then as soon as he's back with me, he's back to Mr Misery again. Oh, well, he's got things on his mind, hasn't he? It can't be easy being so far away from Joseph. 
Hey, he'll be back before you know it. Mm. Peace and quiet. I reckon we've earned this. I know I'm not the best cook, but you could at least pretend. There's nothing wrong with the food. I'm glad to hear it. Why has he not phoned me? Staring at your phone isn't going to make it happen any faster. I just need to know everything's all right. Just relax, will you? Oh, there we go. Hopefully that's him. Flaming hope so. Hi, come hey. in. Well, I am the bearer of good tidings. I've managed to pull some strings and we're good to come on Oh, my day. gosh, <laughs> oh, that's fantastic news. I am over the moon. Thank you so much. Oh, I owe you one. We all do. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was fine. <laughs> uh, look, I won't stop if you're eating your tea, but... Um, I will see you one month. OK, and again, thank you. You're one in a million. No, no, just one in a few thousand, actually. Mm -hmm. See ya. Bye. Right, finally, can we enjoy our dinner now? Absolutely. Thank goodness for that. I was afraid for Billy's life if that had been a no. All right. I just want to go home. At least we agree on something. Can you leave it? What have they said? That I'm being released with a caution. Mm. Meanwhile, he's getting charged with drug dealing. What? Ooh. Come on, let's go on, Meg. What's she talking about? They're calling me a dealer. She said I was getting the stuff for you. Well, you were getting it for me. I was trying to help. I thought they'd let you go if I told them that. Well, you know what Thorpe did? Oh, Gary, I'm sorry. Oh, this isn't fair. Come on, kids, right, let's just go on. Come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Right, thanks for babysitting at such short notice. Not a problem. Happy to help. <laughs> I was expecting Dorothy or Scarecrow to turn up. <laughs> no chance. Well, it's good to see you both smiling again. Yeah, you're lifesavers, both of you. Now the kids are sound asleep, so hopefully you shouldn't hear a peep out of them. On you go, then. Go on, before we change our minds. Right, we won't be too late. Well, fill your boots, go clubbing in town if you want. No, <laughs> those days are well and truly gone, Luke. Can you speak for yourself? I feel like a teenager again, babysitting. Always a good opportunity in my day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, while the cat's away and all that. Maybe we should raid the drinks cupboard. Hmm. Well, I have got a better idea. Hmm. But before we start misbehaving, there's something I need to talk to you about. Oh, nothing serious, please. No, just sit down with you. Listen, um... I know this might sound crazy after everything that's just happened, but I missed you so much whilst you were away. And then you came back with a husband. Luke. No, 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 just hear me out. It made me realise how good I would be if I ever lost you. Well, you're not ever gonna lose me. I know I'll have to wait till you can get a divorce. <laughs> but when you can, Marie O'Connor, <laughs> will you marry me? <laughs> well, you don't have to answer right now. Is, is this what the um, desperate shopping trip was about before? Forget it, Marie, it doesn't matter. No, no! Luke, yes, look. Yes, of course I'll marry you. <laughs> you've, just, you've just took me by surprise, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Was he all right? I said he could play with his toys in bed for a bit. Oh, bless him. He hasn't got a clue, has he, about the absolute mess that's going on around him. So what now? What do you mean? Well, they assume you're going to knock that stuff on the head for a start. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to get Gary arrested again. Gary doesn't need to be involved. Oh, right, so it'll be you next time, will it? Well, either way, it's not great for Jake, is it? Uh, she's got a point, is it? What right have the police got to make up rules about stuff they don't even understand? They don't make up the rules. They're just doing the job. Well, if my job involved locking up innocent people, I'll get another one. Well, you know, that's all fine and good. But meanwhile, back in the real world, Gary's looking at a prison sentence. It won't come to that. How do you know? She needs to pack this in right now. 
Before you even say it, if you ever try and take Jake away again without my permission, it will be me calling the police. And they can do what they like about the weed. Why should I stop when it controls the pain and it makes it easier to look after Jake? You just wait until Harry's older, when he's got his own little personality and he's coming to you for a cuddle and all he does is make you laugh. And he's not screaming all the time. It'll be different. Every day you'll love him more and more and it won't matter who his dad is or anything else that happened in the past. All you'll want to do is protect him. I hope you're right. Of course I'm right. This Christine's gonna be perfect. Not perfect, just settle for good. It's just going to be where everything just starts getting better for all of us. Well, that's the spirit. Think positive. We just all need to move forwards. Just forget everything that's happened. Starting Monday. Well, his epic journey comes to an end in the final episode of Billy Connolly's Tracks Across America next. Our one-off drama, Joe Madison's War, is just about to start over on ITV Encore. And make sure you're with us here on ITV tomorrow night for all new Britain's Got Talent at 8 o'clock. <laughs>